to look at Sweet Dreams by Alicia Cara. For this song, we have three main parts to learn, and I'm gonna divide that. Starting off with the verse, then we have the pre-chorus, then we got the chorus, then we have the next verse, next pre-chorus, next chorus, and then we have a bridge and the chorus. Now the pre-chorus and the bridge are exactly same, so don't need to worry about that. So we got verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. Three different parts to learn. Uh, standard tuning, no keep the chord is gonna be very easy. Let's have a quick look at it. C major mute three two open first open, A minor mute open second second first open, D minor seven mute mute open second first first, and also another variation which is a D minor which is mute mute open second third first. G major three two open 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 three. Uh, it's a B flat half diminished. I'm playing mute one two open two open. I repeat mute one two open two open. Middle ring. Pinky and I'm playing a E minor chord, but I'm playing it this way. D minor shape up two frets is a D E minor. So it's now four on the G, five on the B, three on the high E, open D string. Right. So we're gonna start off with the verse. We have the verse and the introduction. We play a C major chord, then the B flat half diminished, then an A minor. Then D minor, E minor, F. F major chord is 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. So the rhythm sounds like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. We see that on the 1 and the 3, I literally change the chord. 1, 2, and you come over here. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. Without me saying it, I sound like this. That's almost the introduction and the verse. The pre chorus, the chord progression will be a C major, D minor 7, A minor, G. Play that twice. That's a pre chorus done. One dance stroke for the song, we won't be going to any fancy string pan. One or two dance strokes is basically enough. I'm literally showing you the chord shapes which are important. So if you just want to sing along, you can just play the chord and simply strum. For the chorus, we're gonna make a small couple of changes. Uh, instead of playing a D minor 7 chord, we're going to play a D minor and instead of playing an A minor, we're going to replace that with the F major. So the chord progression stands to be C major, D minor. Goes like that, so it's a G major chord. So we got... As the whole song got the bridge which is exactly same as the pre-chorus and uh, where she goes a little bit into humming and that's the whole song guys make sure to subscribe to the video up to you let me know what other songs you just want to learn and if you haven't yet subscribed again i'm saying guys make sure to subscribe it helps my channel a lot bye